All right, so another Union's talk. So last week I made a video on you know how I went from two hundred dollars to you know ten thousand dollars in my bank account, and in that video I just briefly went over you know how interesting it was for me on how Walmart uh, didn't have Sam Walton's book in Walmart. You know, Sam Walton is the guy who founded Walmart, right? And in that video, somebody commented on it today and it bothered me, you know, what that person said. And that person basically said, to summarize that, you know, Walmart and Sam Walton are rich and successful because, you know, they pay their uh, employees low wages, they don't, uh, no union, doesn't provide health care, it encourages people to be on food stamp and all this negative stuff. And if you followed uh, my videos for a while, and if you know me for a while, you know, I always say don't focus on the negative things. You know, focus on what you can learn. And, <clears throat> you know, I was at one point like this too. I, I was the negative seeker. You know, there's always a lot of negative seekers out there in the world. And you do not want to be a negative seeker. Because a negative seeker, it doesn't matter who you are or who it is. You could be you know, Martin Luther King, you could be the President, you could be the Dalai Lama, or you could be the Pope or Mother Teresa. They will always find something negative about these people. And you do not want to be this type of person. Because if you are, I guarantee you and I promise you, your bank account is going to reflect the, the negativity. Okay? So, if you want to know more about investing and all you hang around are these negative people and all they do is scrutinize and criticize other people's success, I guarantee you they're not even successful. And you know, I was at one point like this too. And guess what? How much money I had in my bank account? $200, right? But now, and like I always say, you can learn something from all these type of people, you know, sometimes what to do and sometimes what not to do. Right? And guess what? Now I'm financially stable. I don't have, I have way more than $200 in my bank account. Why? Because I'm not a negative person. I don't go out and get out of my way to scrutinize other people. Learn something. Learn something. And that video... I wasn't even talking about, hey, you know, how Walmart treats his employees or how Walmart became successful. The, the thing that I was talking about was what you can learn from these people. Right? So stop being negative. You know, the famous motivational speaker Les Brown said, one minute of anger robs you of 60 seconds of happiness. So if you are negative... There's no end game for you. There's no benefit there for you. If all you do is find fault. If all you do is find negative things about people and other companies or whatever. There's nothing. Learn something. Learn something. So, take a critical analysis of yourself right now. Are you a negative seeker? Are you starting to or are you becoming this type of person? And just slowly move away. And if they are around you, if negative seekers are around you in your life, just start to just respectfully just push them away or don't take financial advice or don't associate with these type of people too much. Because their energy and their bank account and their advice are going to rub off on you. And I guarantee you, if you want to be broke, if you want to have a broke mentality, just listen to these people and you are going to be broke, all right?